were you at 8.50 p.m. on the day of the accident? I told you this. I was at home. But you can't prove you were there. You can't prove I wasn't. Nice one, love. Are you finding this funny? Well, no, hardly. I've been arrested for no good reason. I want to know precisely what happened leading up to the accident. I've told you. I borrowed Jamie's car, went and got a takeaway, I brought it back, he went off in the car, I walked home. So you still maintain Mr Tate was driving his car? Yes. Mrs Tate says that when her husband arrived at her hotel, he was in a home farm vehicle, not his own. Why would she say that? Because he told her to. So you're saying Mr and Mrs Tate are lying? Wouldn't you in their position? You, on the other hand, are telling the truth. Exactly. Except you're not, though, are you, Miss Dingle? In your previous statement, you said you didn't drive Mr Tate's car on the day of the accident. Now you're admitting you used it to fetch a Chinese takeaway. What are you getting at? Someone saw you and the car at 9.15pm on the night of the accident. Poppycock. Yeah. No, you're making this up now. You were spotted in a lay-by checking the bumper of Mr Tate's car. That is not true! We have a witness who swears it is. Well, they're lying! Why would a stranger with no connection to you or Mr Tate lie about something like that? Well, you'll have to ask them that question. I'm asking you. Because we remain convinced that you knocked down Mrs Dingle and then fabricated an alibi. I didn't! You seem very defensive. Well, you seem very full of yourself. I'm just trying to get to the truth. Why would I knock down Moira? She's my sister-in-law! No one's suggesting you did it deliberately. Was it an accident? Did you panic in the heat of the moment? Perfectly understandable. We're all human, we make mistakes. They're trying to get you, don't let them. How many times? I didn't do it. By not owning up to it, you are doing yourself no favours. You know what? You're really getting on my nerves now. Miss Dingle, calm down. Stop Miss Dingle and me. At a girl, you tell her. You've dragged me in here on, I presume, Jamie's say so. You're going on about this witness telling me a bunch of lies and then you're telling me to calm down. This isn't helping. Why would I want to help you? I'm sick of this. I've not even had my dinner yet, so you either bang me up or you let me go home now. Fair enough. If that's how you want to play this. Can you please stand up, Miss Dingle? I'm going to take you to the custody desk sergeant, who will charge you with causing an accident with careless driving, failing to stop at an accident, failing to report an accident, and perverting the course of justice. I've done nothing wrong. That's for the court to decide. 